a no-deal Brexit will be back on the table if the UK triggers Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol, members of the House of Lords have told Irish counterparts. Brexit Secretary Lord Frost told the House of Lords today, Wednesday, that triggering Article 16 would be the only option if talks fail, but was not giving up yet. The move is likely to spark retaliation from the EU, which could lead to the suspension of the trade deal between the UK and the EU. Lord J, Chair of the House of Lords Subcommittee on the Northern Ireland Protocol, said triggering Article 16 risk taking negotiations back to square one. According to ITV, he said that the risks of Article 16 being imposed or being triggered in the response to Article 16 by the European Union, potentially leading to all the complicated negotiations with the prospect of a no deal as the last stage, that is one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum, which I think we can't rule it out, and I certainly wouldn't want to rule out, although I must say that the prospects are not looking brilliant at the moment, is for a negotiated settlement to be reached between now and Christmas or over Christmas. I don't think we can rule that out. In an update on negotiations given to the House of Lords today, Wednesday, Lord Frost said that triggering Article 16 would be the only option if talks fail. But, he said the government was not giving up yet and he wanted to remain positive about an amicable outcome to negotiations. The comments came at a joint meeting between Ireland's were reached as committee on the implementation of the Good Friday Agreement with the House of Lords Committee and the Shannad Special Select Committee on Brexit on Wednesday. Lord Hayne, a former Northern Ireland Secretary under Tony Blair, told the committee that triggering Article 16 on the part of the government would be aggressive and bombastic. However, he added that it was a move that, I, fear has been coming for a while. We are going to need to work together with you parliamentarians across the Irish Sea to try and cope with the fallout because I think it will be significant. It seems to me that is, Lord Frost's, negotiating stance under the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has pointed to the triggering of Article 16 and a confrontation, which in my view is not designed to solve the problem. It is designed to appeal to the Conservative Party's Brexit base which is a total and radical departure from the close relationship of trust that was painstakingly built over decades between Dublin and London, and given the tangled history of the two countries and the two centres, to destroy that trust is very, very serious indeed. On Tuesday, Tarnas Leo Veradka said that retaliatory action from the EU should be expected if the UK government used the article of the protocol to unilaterally suspend parts of the agreement. On Sunday, Simon Coveney, Ireland's Foreign Affairs Minister, warned that if the UK were to suspend parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol, the EU may move to do the same with the Brexit trade deal. The protocol, intended to allow access to the EU's single market via Northern Ireland has caused issues and border delays as goods have to be checked when they move across the Irish Sea. In July, the Prime Minister said that all the conditions have been met to trigger Article 16. Last Friday, Lord Frost said a meeting with European Commission Vice President Maro Sifkovic in Brussels had been limited. He added that there were significant gaps that still remained between the two parties. Time is running out on these talks if we are to make progress. The EU has already rejected calls for a new protocol to be drafted. Lord Frost said that scrapping the protocol is very much on the table and has been since July. Instead, in an attempt to appease the UK, Early last month the European Commission suggested some reforms to the existing agreement. They include cutting paperwork on imports via the Irish border, in exchange for more import data for surveillance. It also said it would be willing to cut checks on food safety, including cold meats such as British sausages. Mr Coveney claimed the EU was currently in solutions mode and could go a little further with concessions, but warned there was a limit to their flexibility. He believed that if the UK government essentially refuses to implement the protocol, even with the extraordinary flexibilities that are now on offer, and instead looks to set it aside then I think the EU will respond in a very serious way to that.